Hey, everybody. It's the Renegades. Hey We're yo. back. And uh, as I'm sure you can tell from the title of the video, Rooster Teeth Animated Adventures. We're going to watch some more. These, these are great. These, these are, are fun. These are wonderful. Always so fun. So first up on the docket today, we've got Lost Phone Karma starring one Gavin Free and one Bernie Burns, <laughs> who, interestingly enough, I didn't know this until recently, is on this season of Amazing Race. Yes. I didn't know that. Yes. I, I found that out. Uh, about a month ago, and I was just like, really? They're He's still in. Yeah. He is, like, currently, uh, as of when I checked, which was Thursday, I think, he's still in. So, all right, that's pretty cool. That is cool. All right, so, <laughs> lost phone karma. Ha have you ever lost your phone? Uh, not for very long. I, I lost mine one time. I was in Washington, D.C. All right. I had my phone in my lap. It, it was, like, in between my legs and everything. You know, I, I, you know, I was, like, sorting stuff out, you know, for my dad. Uh, for my dad, he, we were, we, we were driving up to, to D.C. to, uh, to do a few things. Uh, mm -hmm, uh, we, mm -hmm, that was mm -hmm. just back a few years, way a few years ago. Um, anyway, we, uh, I have it sitting in my lap, and me, I get out, not thinking about it at all. Bloop. We parked on the grass, so it, no, sound. no sound. Ooh. Well, Ooh. anyway, anyway, mm. um, uh, this this was an old flip phone too, so you know, no security, you know, you know, no, 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 no passcodes, no, no, pass no nothing. Codes, no yeah, nothing. yeah. And anyway, <clears throat> that tells you how long this was ago, kids. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this was this was a while ago. Yeah. So I'm sitting there, and my phone just like falls on the ground and everything. I don't notice it the whole time. Yep. And me and my dad, we do this. Uh, we uh, we were assembling cabinets, and we were installing them for this for this person who lived in D.C. He was a family member, yep. so we we did it free of charge, you know. And you know, we camped there. You know, it was always. In, and me and my dad, we went out and saw the sights and everything. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, anyway, we were driving around, and all of a sudden, it hits me. You have that brief moment of realization. Yeah, I reach. Where's in my, pocket, my I reach, phone? I reach in my pocket for my wallet and everything. And I'm like, and all of a sudden I reach over here in my other pocket to pull out my phone. And, yeah. and, and this is back when you weren't uh -oh. using your phone for everything. Yeah. Because right now you're able to use your phone for everything. Like you're able to go online. You're able to look up information. You're able listen to, to music, listen to music. Look at videos on YouTube. Take what notes on stuff. Everything. <clears throat> yeah. Back then, you know, phone was just basically for calling and texting. And, and even, even then texting was tricky. Yes, it was. Because you had 10 buttons. Beep, 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 beep. Actually, you really only could use like. Eight, maybe nine. Yeah, I th yeah, yeah. you used the first nine. No, you, you one didn't have any uh, numbers on it. One has no letters on it. Oh, as that's it right. That's right. I forgot yeah. about that. So, fun fact: the number one has no letters associated with it on a dial pad. So that that was the whole thing. Anyway, we get a call. Uh, uh, anyway, I, I'm panicking. I'm like, oh my god, where is it? Where where did I lose it? Did I lose it at the gas station? Yep. Did I take it out here? Did I take it out there? And um, I was like panicking, like having a conniption fit, just like just like about foaming at the mouth. And oh yeah, yeah, I yeah. Just got the phone. And, ooh, ooh, and, that's even worse. <clears throat> and ooh. all of a sudden, my dad receives a call like at ten o'clock at night, and uh, it was uh, it was my fan it was a family member of mine. Okay. And they're like, um, yeah, we were out in the yard, and we saw something glowing. Uh, and we yeah, I wouldn't touch up, that. And uh, it was Nathan's phone, and we have it here if you want to come by and get it. Uh, and the whole way home, my dad was just like, "Son, put it in your damn pocket. Put it in your pocket. Uh -huh. Put it in your pocket." And is and I and you're just like, "Yes, I, I get it." The habit now. Whenever I go on the road or something, I and if I'm not if I'm not using my phone for something, I put it in my pocket. Yep. And it's and my dad instilled in ingrained that stuff into me. Like yeah, he he made sure that I remember that stuff. Yep. And um, <laughs> well, I, and so far I haven't really lost my phone since. Yep. So well, that's good. He taught me to be responsible. There you go. Uh, so let's get started with this episode. Here we go. Lost phone karma. All right. Sydney, our first stop, I left my phone in a cab. It was a big pain in the ass. And the entire time, Gavin's like, I can't believe you left your phone in a cab. <laughs> Even after we got it all settled, he's like, you left your phone in a cab, you're an idiot. You're the most unorganized person I know. What did I tell you? 
people hand me shit don't <laughs> hand me stuff. People are handing me t-shirts and cups that I gotta carry away. It's like, fuck! And so then I lost my cab because I was keeping track of some goddamn t-shirt that somebody gave me. Thanks for the t-shirt, yeah. by the way. <laughs> so, Gavin the entire time is just ridiculing me for leaving stuff behind. And we get back to Austin, and we're out in front, and we get out of the cab, and we're doing everything. God damn, if I don't look in the cab to make sure I'm not leaving anything behind, there's Gavin's cell phone sitting in the back seat <gasps> of the cab. Off. I was so prepared to let that, that phone just drive away and go, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> he was just looking at me, with, like, tr- obviously trying to hold in the biggest grin in the world. He's just looking at me, and he's just like, yeah. I had a pretty good tell going on. I was, like, shaking while I was, like, trying not to laugh and smile. Merciful heavens. Oh, God. Okay, so... Fun. So, yeah, that that's all that's all fun and everything. Yeah. Now, I I used to um used to be that when you could take the battery out of a phone, people would leave their phones sitting on the table or something where I was hanging out. You know, yeah. people I knew. And they would uh, you know, they would just not be paying any attention. It's just like creep up here and just grab this. Pop the battery out, put the cover back on. If they asked me for the phone, I would give them the phone back. And, you, and then they'd have that moment of, wait, why isn't this working? I go, oh, you might need this. And then it's just, those were the, those were the good days. Now, you, now most phones you can't remove batteries from. Which kills me because sometimes you just need a hard reset point. Yeah, yeah. And the only way to do a hard reset is if you take the battery out or you let the battery drain all the way out. And And it's long and arduous. Yeah, I tell you, one of those is definitely preferable to the other. Yes, much preferable. But, hey, it's just like, well, we want to make it more simple for the user. It's just like... No, that that doesn't make any sense. No, I know, I know, but that's their excuse. That's their reasoning. Which is... Which is stupid. Oh, and by the way... And now, like, like, you you can't even put an SD card in a phone anymore. Well, yeah, well... They've actually what the they're hell? actually fixing that with the uh, with uh, the new uh, Samsung Galaxy S7. Good. Uh, they're having it to where the SIM card tray actually has it to where you put the thing in there. But that's but that's what kills me. The SIM card tray, you do that, you kill your connection to the cell. You kill your connection to the yeah, cellular Yeah, you pretty much have to. You pretty much have to redo, redo yeah. everything just yeah. to insert a damn SIM card and say, oh, this SIM card's full. I want to use another one. Guess For what? SD you card, yeah. yeah. You got a t- you got you got a new SD card that you want to put in there. And, and all that. This but reminds me mm, of stupid. oh, what You're taking away people's abilities. To what was the handheld? Um, I can't remember the name of it, but it was it was a handheld gaming thing done by a phone company. And in order to change the game, you had to pop the battery out of the phone. Oh, I think that's the. N- <sighs> I I can't remember the name of it, but that was the dumbest design decision. I remember, I remember the one you're talking about. Yeah, it was like a big deal. They were like saying, "Oh, this thing's gonna have like like you're gonna, it's gonna have a library of a hundred games, and you can play online with your friends." And it, it only had like five games, and like and like two of them took up your took up the entire space of your phone. Yep. Oh, gosh, mm-hmm. I remember those. Well, well, that last, all right. That company lasted so, that long. all right. Have you ever had any awkward? bathroom encounters for example have you have you ever run into somebody who broke one of the like the primary unspoken rules which i i don't know how true this is but most guys sort of realize you don't talk to somebody else in the bathroom if either of you are doing anything other than washing your hands if you're washing your hands a brief moment of conversation is acceptable. <laughs> Otherwise, no. Well, either stand well standing in line, standing in line to go to the urinal. That's one thing. Or, and standing in line, yeah, like, no, like yeah, it, all right, it, you know, dep- it depends on uh, location, location, location. All right, yeah. If you're outside of the bathroom; it's completely 100 percent okay. Yeah. But then you walk in, and then you start talking while someone, some other dude's taking a whiz. And oh and you're no, no. In line, it's just like, oh gosh, guys, come on. Somebody takes a phone call. <laughs> Oh no, no! I don't, I, I don't accept phone calls whenever I'm in the bathroom. Yeah, and it's I, just that's like that's a moment of peace. That's a moment of tranquility where I need to, where I, I just need it to myself. What, uh, what was it? Uh, Jerry Seinfeld had a bit where it's like, you know, the the idea of the shower being like this, this fortress of you know impenetrable solitude. It's like we can't uh, reach no, him. He's no. in the shower. No, 
that that's been that visage has been destroyed for me several times because I, I am have, so I sorry. Have brother, I have a I have a, a younger brother who's a year younger than me. Mm-hmm. He has uh, he had a bit of a thing where oh, no. he would get ice out of the freezer. No, fill the cup, fill this gigantic like Jam- like Jamama Ultra cup up with water. And then, no. as and then he would stand. Then he would get in it. He would get a step ladder, and he would stand up and look at where my head was, and, and just then be like, just like dump it. And I remember one time he did that. We were on we were on vacation. We were on vacation, and I'm in the bathroom, and all of a sudden I'm in the bathroom taking a shower, and all of a sudden it, it goes over my head, and just I go. Like like the like the most high pitched scream. I swear, I thought I broke. I thought I broke the mirror. I I screeched so loud, and then all of a sudden I hear. All of a sudden I hear, like cackling, laughing, and then all of a sudden I hear, <laughs> oh, oh crap! Boom! He fell down yes! off the toilet and busted his ass. Instant and I, karma. I look at I look out and I see him, and I'm like, you okay? And he's like, oh, I think I busted my ass. It's like, like all right, good. I was like, all right, here's for your troubles. And just there you flipped, go. I flipped him off outside of outside of the thing, and um, I, was, <sighs> I was gonna say I always make sure from now on I lock it. Even when I lock the door, he you know because these you know oh yeah you can you can push locks you know uh-huh. it's like the little push locks you just like get the end of a coat hanger and just and pop, pop it yeah. I uh, <laughs> well I make I make sure that I I, I make, do my damnedest now. Whenever he's over, I do my damnedest and to make like, sure he can't get in. Well. Oh, and uh, that's that's uh, that that's a family one. A random encounter I had was at the col was at the college. Oh, communal was, bathrooms, yeah. Well, I was in there. I was in there, and I was and it was a huge bathroom, huge bathroom. And I was using one of the, I was using one of the urinals, mm-hmm. and there was no one in there. I swear to God, there was no one in there. Yep. And all of a sudden, my stomach, I, my stomach just goes, oh, and it was just like, I was like, oh, it's like, oh, I've got a fart. Well, there's no one in here. I rip it and I kill it, and all of a sudden, oh no! All of a sudden, I hear someone. I hear someone in one of the stalls go, "Dude, nice <laughs> rip, man!" <laughs> oh, oh, good. And you're just like, no one was in here. Where did that come? Did I just fart out somebody who applauded me? Really? No. Um. Well, thankfully, thankfully. We have not yet run into a problem like Gus had. Oh gosh. Gus's bathroom encounter. I had I had probably the creepiest convention experience ever. It, it finally happened. Someone followed me into the bathroom to get something Ugh. signed. Really? It was Mike from Maine. I was sitting there at the urinal. Or not sitting, I was standing at the urinal. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> and, uh, and I could tell there was someone behind me, so I kinda of look over my shoulder and there's someone there with uh, one of their Halo 4 posters and a Sharpie. He's like, hey, can I get you to sign this? Uh oh, sorry. Oh no. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I really want to get you to sign. Oh uh, wait. Okay, go, there we go. go. Back to the beginning. All right, we'll we'll start that one over. Okay. Sorry about sorry that, guys. Okay. All right. <laughs> Try it again. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> All right. All right. Hey, boop. I had I had probably the creepiest convention experience ever. It, it finally happened. Someone followed me into the bathroom <laughs> to get something signed. Really? It was Mike from me. I was sitting there at the urinal. Or not sitting. I, mean, I was standing at the urinal. <laughs> wow, that got awkward. <laughs> and, uh, and I could tell there was someone behind me. So I kind of look over my shoulder and there's someone there with uh, one of their Halo 4 posters and a yeah. Sharpie. He's like, hey, can I get you to sign this, Gus? I was like... My hands are I'm kind of doing something at the moment. I'm kind of busy, like, oh, yep. you know, I wanted to make sure I caught you. I said, you know there's only one exit to this bathroom. Yeah. You could have waited on the other side of the exit, and you would have caught me anyway. Yeah. He's like, yeah, but I really want to get you to sign this. I was like, okay. So I, so I come over, and I intentionally, without washing my hands, start going over to try to sign it. He's like, no, 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 wash your hands. I was like, no, you asshole. You came in the bathroom. <laughs> yeah. Inside the door, you get washed hands. Inside the bathroom, you get dirty hands. Uh, yeah. So then I signed this thing, and I walked out, and there was a family there waiting for me. And they're like, oh, can you sign this for me, Gus? I was like, oh, thank you. How courteous of you to wait for me outside the fucking bathroom. <laughs> Yep. It's funny if an entire family follows you. Yeah. <laughs> nope. No, 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 no. Oh, no. dear. Whole lot of nope there. Not okay. All right. Well, 
Oh gosh. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Let's see. Here. Wow. All right. So. All right. Jesus. So. So. Next up, we have. Gavin's. Gavin's drunken shenanigans. Gavin, a world class drunk. Gavin, <laughs> Gavin, a world class idiot. <laughs> Yeah, idiot oh. savant. I was going to say. No, no, he, no, no. He, just idiot, person- idiot. Okay, okay. Yeah. All right. Just I mean. Proper, mm, proper idiot. Just proper bloody idiot. He's a proper bl- blithering idiot. Yeah. Yep. Uh, all right. So here we go. Man, the British get so much more f- fun swear words than we do. Um, of course they what do. What you get? Yeah, you know, just. There's. Prig. There's. Yeah. They yeah. they get to have so much more Slag. fun. Yeah. Sort of. Sod it. Yeah. Anyway. All right. So Gavin's drunk and shenanigans. Here we go. The first day that we were in VidCon, at 3 a.m. I get a phone call that wakes me up. And it's Gavin saying, Gavin, come on. Which drunk come on, come on, take care of me. <laughs> oh, no. Not more oysters. I was so drunk. It was unbelievable. Aww. I'm in his hotel room, and I'm just sitting there trying to coax him to bed. Uh-huh. And I'm like, go to bed. I just keep repeating to him, go to bed, go to bed. He's constantly trying to tackle me, constantly trying to knock the phone out of my hands. And I'm like, Gavin, go to sleep. He gets a <laughs> <laughs> Knock him out, knock water. him out. Oh, oh no. Him. And then just starts splashing on me. Like, <laughs> Douse on me with water. All just... the water goes in the first douse. I'm just like flailing an empty bottle out. <laughs> he remembers this. <laughs> got in bed, and I go, all right, I'm leaving. I leave, I go down the hallway. Sure enough, I hear bop, 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 bop. as I get in the elevator. <laughs> Gavin's in the elevator now, and I'm like, son of a bitch. I Ow. got out of the lobby, and I was like, you know, I'm just done. So what I did was, he went to follow me out of the elevator in the lobby. I put my hand in the middle of his chest, held him in the elevator. I hit all the buttons. <laughs> then he tried to get out, and then I kicked him in the stomach. <laughs> Birdie kick! Birdie kick. And I pointed at the buttons, and I said, somebody on one of these floors will take care of you. And that's it. And I went to work shut, and I went home. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's one way to handle it. Yep. Oh way. boy. Yeah, that is always a fun way to handle things. I, had a I mean, to say, oh. I've got a. I've got. Okay. All right. There was, there was a time. There was a time. I had a. I had a, a friend. Uh, mm-hmm. I'm not gonna name it. I'm not gonna name him or anything. Uh, but we we're we're still really good friends, and we we did a lot of projects together. But he got really drunk one night. Ooh. I mean, bad. It was it was a heartbreak kind of drunk, you know the the uh, kind where his, the, where his, the drowning <laughs> of sorrows. Yes, 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 the drowning of sorrows. The mm-hmm. the plucking of heartstrings. All that, all that fun noise. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then, um, yeah, it just became all the all the bad stuff that you hear about. Yeah, um, one of the one of the stereotypical took, ones. He, yeah, he took he took two bottles of wild Irish rose. Full Ooh, bottles. Okay. And drank them to the hilt. I mean, both of them gone. And he nearly breaks the glass in my front door. He starts punching things. I had a studio downstairs Ooh, with all my music equipment and everything in it. He like like tries he like pushes over my drum kit, tries to knock over my keyboard. Yeah, you know, he, he I I protected him from my guitars because those were the two things I treasured most. Oh well, yeah. Uh, he knocked over like like two or three of the mic stands, and then uh, all of a sudden he started uh, ranting and raving about li- about uh, Little Wayne and and all this and all this crap that he hated about the rap industry and and you know the music industry as a whole. And then uh, after that, he goes out into my yard, <clears throat> and I swear he sits out there for like a good thirty minutes just sitting there staring. At what? I have no idea. Maybe there was like some like invisible alien that only he could see. He just like stared out there, and all of a sudden, I I go out there and I hear, uh. and he and he like he he uh. like goes about four or five good times, and he and he falls asleep there in the yard, and I pick his ass up, I bring it's him back inside, like, all right. I sit him on the carpet in the floor. I throw a blanket over him and I'm just like I'm fucking done. It's just I go, like I go, I go, I go sleep. upstairs. I go upstairs and I go I go get in my bed and I go to sleep. And then he wakes up the next morning and he's just like, "What did I do?" He's like, "You all right, man?" And I'm like, "Am I all right?" It's like I'm good, man. Are you all right? And he's like, "Can you tell me what happened?" It's like, "What did I?" And it's just do? like it's just like yeah yeah. And I told him the whole thing and he's like, 
I am so sorry, man. He's like, eh, there was no damage. I mean, you were just, like, flailing. I mean, to be fair, the only damage really was to you, so. Yeah. Eh. You, you maybe killed quite a few brain cells right there. And but, maybe part of the lawn. Uh, Well, it, there wasn't a patch on the lawn or anything. Anyway. Thankfully. All right, so. All right, um, so. That's, that's, a, that's a fun little drunk tale uh, from yours truly, Nathan Hamilton. Uh. And then Ooh. we have uh, Bad Luck Bernie. I actually ha- He actually gave me a nickname, and it rings true a lot. Uh, he calls me Captain Obvious, the King of Awkward. Yeah, that's about right. Captain, I am Captain Obvious, the King of Awkward. Uh, that's, that's, that's how I am in real life. You, you realize now that you've said that, I know the, 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 comment, the comment section, section is going to ride that one I know. as far as they hey, can. Hey, let them ride it. I mean, eh. hell, I've ridden, I mean, hell, I've ridden the bus. I've ridden the awkward bus my whole life. I mean, hell, what's a few more jack jackalopes online just being like, being like <laughs> jack- jackalopes? <laughs> Do you mean jack and apes? No, jackalopes, jack and apes, jackasses. I don't know. I just something jack rabbits. I don't know. Just something jack. Jack Dawes. Yes. Jack Dawes. That's a there fun one. There you go. Anyway. So anyway. Bad bad, bad luck, luck Bernie. Bernie. Chivalry on an airplane. <laughs> oh boy. Here we go. I had, a, I had a miserable flight up to Toronto. Uh-huh. I'm sitting, I got my favorite seat, the exit row, window seat, happy as can be. And I see this young black couple coming down the aisle. And the girl ends up sitting next to me in the middle. And the dude sits like a row in front of us, but over on the other side of the plane. So I recognize, okay. here's, here's this couple. They got separated. It's miserable. Sometimes I travel with someone and I want to sit with them. So I said to the guy, I go, hey, I go, hey, do you, I go, hey, man, do you want my seat? So that you two can sit next together? I go, do you want my seat? And he looks at me, I go, do you want my seat? I'll give you my seat and I'll take yours. They didn't know each other. Oh, oh. oh Bernie, no. Oh, I thought you all were a couple. Did you look at you like you were a lunatic? He's like, he's like oh, we're not together. And I'm like, oh. Uh, I go, uh, uh, in situations so like that, you just need to shut your mouth. And here's down. the thing. The girl, the rest of the oh, guy. Yep. That's the worst. <laughs> yep. Why didn't that happen? Yeah. Oh my god. Bernie. Bernie, no. I've been I've been on I've been on planes several times. Uh, longest flight uh, was from uh, uh, was from Florida to Cancun, and it was all over the Gulf of Mexico. Ooh. So just pretty much so just you look down. Water. So pretty much you look down, and there's just like encroaching death on all sides it's just like and i had the window seat i was just sitting there and i was just like looking down just like well this is it i'm oh, going to die here hop and a skip across the pond <laughs> oh i'm <laughs> gonna die this is gonna be horrible yeah i've <laughs> never been in an airplane don't really care to try well it's uh, well dude more people die on the road in a car it's just because of that lack of control that yeah people have, that that phobia that lack of control and well, I, and once i got past that Oh, did you get him? Nope, I didn't get him. Ah, uh, damn! I was gonna say. I thought I had him. I thought I had him. You were reaching over here. I was like, I was like, keyboard. No, sorry, I wasn't. <laughs> there was a gnat again. I know. There, I know. Yeah. Well, there's always a gnat down here. Or something. Yeah. Spawns from somewhere. But um, yeah, basically, in order to get me on a plane, you're gonna have to drug my Dr. Pepper like I'm B. A. Baracus. No. No, we'll, we'll, be able, uh, we'll probably be able to talk you into it. I mean, I'd and, I'd probably manage. Well, it's just well, like I, I don't want to do as this. As long as the flight is not crowded. And as long as you're sitting near us and we're able to talk to you. And yeah, it's just you like, <laughs> yeah, me and Heights, we don't get along. Well, don't, uh, I was mm-hmm. gonna, we'll, we'll keep, we'll put you, we'll put you away from the window. Yeah, I would appreciate I'll take the, that. I'll take the window seat. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll take the window seat every time because seeing the takeoff and, and looking over and seeing just. Yeah, that's exactly what I don't want to see. No, I, well, <laughs> I, I get that. I get that. Well, when we first flew, um, my dad explained to me what it was like to be for takeoff and everything. He's like, it's like you're being pushed like back as hard as you can, but instead of like hitting a hard surface, it's like you fall into a cloud and a marshmallow, and it's just like, oh. And he was right. And another good thing about this uh, about this flight is that they had in-flight music and movies uh, that you could actually choose from. Oh, and, that's uh, nice. I was gonna say uh, they had like a selection of like five different movies. Uh, I chose I chose Happy Gilmore. <laughs> Because it was the only that's a good decent, one. It was that's the only a good one. One that I could really see that I knew of, um, <clears throat> and then they also had music. They had like uh, it was like a twenty-four hour like loop 
of like different of like uh, of like five different stations, like all country, all pop, uh, like pop. I was expecting you to say it's just like a twenty four hour loop of the girl from Ipanema. No, uh, <laughs> maybe if it were a twenty four hour loop of Rebecca Black's Friday, I, I would have probably oh. probably taken over the plane and and, oh. and and landed it and gone and got something else and then given control back to the pilot. Mm. Gosh. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Uh, we got one more. Yeah, we, we got, got we got one more. Yeah. What 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 do next? Omnigus. Omnigus. So Gustavo Sorula. Ah uh, yes. Good old Gus. So bunch of stories about Gus. Bunch of them. And the remix. Yes. So hit it. What we have now must be the perfect level of well knownness. The pharmacist at the pharmacy I go to. <laughs> knows who I am. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Like, I have to get some, like, some fucked up medicine. I'm like, I can't go to my pharmacy because the guy knows me. <laughs> hey, guys, your uh, butt herpes crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I go to pick up my medicine. He's like, hey, uh, so I saw that short. You were really funny. Like, oh, no. Hey, so can I just get my pills, please? Oh, that's the worst. <laughs> and you kick off work in next year's RTX, Ooh. right? Like, immediately. Yeah, luckily we built that robot. Gus bought 3,000. <laughs> <laughs> Program, Program for fun. <laughs> <laughs> Comedy routine, routine broken. broken. Kill, kill, kill. 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 <laughs> and Gus is like, yeah, all right. Yesterday, I went to the H-E-B, and I walk in, fucking Billy is sitting there. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, yeah. Who yeah. owes this his other fucking leg still? He still owes it. <laughs> he still has it? He still has that leg. And I was like, oh, my God. And he's like, he like looked at me and started trying to talk to me again, and I said, nope. And I turned around the left and walked right back out. Oh, boy. Wait. This is so cool. Just like all the different versions of Gus. <laughs> Cardboard cut out of Gus. Super energetic now. And there you go. The remix, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Okay. So, like funny, funny all right. story. Funny story. So all right. I'm really glad that I have never been like on the one hand, I'm glad I've never been recognized in public, but on the other hand, it's just oh, here we go. Yep. <laughs> Let's go with this story. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. So Story time with Nate. Here we go. All right. Number one. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I have been noticed. Twice in the wild. Twice. Now, I, I've heard about the first one. Yes. I uh, haven't heard the second one. First one, I was noticed at the job that I worked at. Uh-huh. This is back when we had about 10,000 subs. Um, oh, man. Yeah, still wasn't still wasn't big enough to, to really uh, do anything on its own or any, on, on our own or anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I had, so I had to uh, continue working a job. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> 10,000 subscribers. And lo and behold, we had one working at the job I was working at. Huh. I'm walking back to the break room. And as I'm walking back to the break room, I hear someone say, Nate? And I'm like, oh, gosh. And you're just like, well, I'm getting fired. It's like, like, oh, gosh. Is this my, is this, are they going to ask me to work more hours? And I turn. Are they going to work, ask me to work no hours? Yeah. Are they (laughs) going to? Well, well, I wasn't worried about that. I mean, I wasn't really in threat of being fired or anything. Yeah. Um, But anyway. I um, <laughs> I walk back there, and um, this this person comes like come like brisk like like a brisk pace like walking like yeah like, just like, like almost jogging and you're and sitting here going up, oh I'm no like, I'm like oh god what what what's going on what have I done and then he's just like he's like you're, you're Nate from the Renegades right and I'm like what. what? And then he's just he, he just he's reeling off. He's just like, oh man, God, I love your I love your freaking epic rap battles of history, man. Are you gonna finish them all? And it's just like, uh, yeah, man, we're we're gonna we're gonna finish them all. We're uh, but yeah, we yeah. We're, uh, he's just like, man, I love what you all have to say about the battles, man. I mean, you all break it down and all that. And it's just like, yeah, we we actually uh, we actually hear hear a lot of people like that. And then uh, <laughs> I mean, and. I, you don't know what to say. You're just like, no, no. Uh, and I'm just like, hey, it's, it's always yeah. good to meet a fan. I mean, hey, yeah. I mean, what, I mean, that's, I mean, that's, that's, that's one. This. That's and, one. Well, uh, the other one happened two days ago. Two days ago. Hold on. I'm going to just. <laughs> okay. Story time. <laughs> Let me move this off screen. Yeah. So you can just see us. Yeah. Okay. So story time. 
I was at Walmart. Oh, boy. I was back in the TLE, Tire Lube Express. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm waiting for my oil change on my car. Uh huh. And someone peers out from the back of the of the plate. Of Just the, one of the these. Thing. No, no, no. He he like nope. peers out. And he like walks out like normal. And he's like walking. He like walks up and he's walking around. And he looks over at me a few times. And I'm just like, hey. I'm just sitting there and I'm reading a magazine. And then uh, and he, he just he continues. Walk, he walk. He walks back. And all and all of a sudden I see like two or three guys like come peeking out. And then another then another one peeks out. And then. All of a sudden, I'm sitting, and I'm like, I'm like, like can I help you, I'm like, gentlemen? I'm like, what's going on? I'm like, I'm like, okay, what's going on here? And uh, I sit the magazine down, and I pull my phone out, and I start looking at comments and everything, you know, because we keep, I keep getting comments throughout the day, and I keep yeah, they they, and they ping on his phone when yeah, they happen. So, so yes, he does read your read comments. I read. He reads them, them as they come in yes. in a lot of cases. Yeah. So anyway, I'm sitting there and. All of a sudden, I, I someone walks up to the front of me, and I'm just like, I'm thinking, oh, God, okay, my order's done, and it's just like, it's like, uh, it's like, uh, so, so what's up? And then he's like, you're, you're Nate, right? And I'm like, I'm like, uh, yeah, I'm Nate, I'm Nate, and he's like, no, fr- fr- from the Renegades. And you're just like, oh no. And I'm just like, I'm just like, um, yeah, that's yeah. me, man. Uh, this guy's name was AJ. He worked, he works back in the TLE Center here in uh, here in the Walmart, the, in the local Walmart. Oh and, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And right. I, uh, <laughs> and I'm just like, I'm just like, hey man, uh, how's it going? <laughs> and he, and he's like, holy crap, it is. You. And he goes back, he's like, yeah, it is him, it is him. And he's just like, yeah, man, this guy does YouTube videos and everything. He's got like fifty thousand subs. And it's just like, oh my gosh! And he's like, and he like reaches out, and shakes hand, and everything. And he's like, so, so, um, I saw your, uh, saw your Mario, uh, your Mario Maker let's plays and everything, man. You got, I mean, you got, you got heated there at the end, and I'm like, uh, yeah, I did. Yeah, I yeah, really you did. Heated. Yeah, then, you did. Uh, and then he, and then he's just like, he's just like, um, so did you ever beat that level? I'm like, actually, spoiler, we actually did. Yes! And uh, and I'm actually <laughs> going to release that tomorrow. He's like, oh man, I can't wait to see that. And yes. Yeah, we actually actually it wasn't it wasn't tomorrow. It was actually the day after tomorrow oh, yeah, that yeah. I released it. I that was one thing I, I I took a mistake on, but wow, just the fact that he noticed me and and he you know we talked a little bit, but he he had to work. You know, he had to get back to work. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Yeah, you know, I was just like, I don't want to hold you up or anything, man. You know, if you got to get back, if you got to get back to work, go on and get back to it. But the fact that I got noticed and everything is just like oh. And it's just like every time I go in there now, I wonder if AJ is just going to be like, is, is, "Is Nate coming in? Is, is he here? Is he?" Yeah. Well, I'm actually where, gonna where have is to go, I'm, I'm actually going to have to go back to get new tires because well, there you the go. Tires on my car are, are kind of not so good. But yeah, that's it, what I we'll understand. Come to that when we come to that, but uh, <laughs> I have I have never been okay. Gonna gonna get out go ahead, of story ahead. time with Nate mode here. Uh, I have never been noticed uh, in in public, which I mean. I don't expect to, and I'm not sure I'd know how to handle it. But uh, yeah, that's that's never happened to me. So, yeah. well, it eh, you know, it, hey, we're just beginning, man. It's true. I mean, the fact Still, is, like it, the the fact that it's happened twice. Yeah, I that's am, that's I'm, impressive. Well, when it's just it's just the whole thing at wall at Walmart threw me off guard. It, it it just it just threw me for a loop and it was just like and you're just, just like, like I not expecting how do it. how handle yeah. what do and, and it's just like well the more subscribers you get the higher the odds are that someone in your area it's true will be subscribed and not only that but they will but they will notice you because if they're fans and they've seen your videos a thousand times they know they what know you what you like. look like yeah. yeah and it's just like oh my gosh I mean and to be fair with me it's either beard or no beard. <laughs> So well, they were well. He actually asked about you. He asked about Caleb and Micah. He's just like, oh, okay. Yeah, he's he, yeah he yeah he's just like he's just like yeah I like I, I love you guys, man. You guys are awesome. It's just like oh man, this is so Dude. cool. And yeah, AJ, if you're watching this, man, uh, thank you for that. I mean, <laughs> That's awesome. It, it's always awesome to me, man. Fan. And um, well, <laughs> yeah, thank. I love it. Uh, gosh, so Ooh. I. 
It, and more of that is to come. I mean, in the future, I mean, especially yeah. if we keep going with this. Yeah. Because we're, we, we're only going to We're only going to grow. Yeah. I mean, we're not going anywhere. No, we're not. I mean, we're going. I mean, yeah, we're going, we're going up. up but, uh, we're not and, going anywhere. And, you know, maybe to the outpost. But, of uh, course, well, yeah. yeah. If, if and hoping. I mean, honestly, the, the odds are looking good now. But Keep, I'm not holding my breath because look, I've held my breath before and I nearly died. All right. Everybody out there, cross your fingers. Yes, cross your fingers. Cross your fingers. Cross your toes. Mm-hmm. Heck, cross your fingers twice. Heck, like this. Like this. Do this. Oh, like, yeah. That, like, like me. Yeah. Kind of like the pincer, like the pincer mm. pinch. Like, ba- basically, go, go Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles with it. Mm. Pretty much. Mm. Yeah. Oh, and cross your thumbs, too. The ultimate five, the ultimate five way cross. Well, to be Cross fair, wouldn't wouldn't that be like that? So anyway, yeah, like that. And now now six, it's six way cross. And now it looks like and we're making gang t- signs. <laughs> and on that bombshell, it's time to end. Thank you very much for watching. Good night. <laughs>